watching forensic lives to living a forensic life Rituza's story of choosing forensic sciences will serve as an inspiration to make uncommon career choices Hello everyone in today's episode of inspiring journeys we have Rituza Das a student at King's College London who decided to pursue bioforensic sciences and lead a life in a field that's unaddressed by many. Let's hear about how her journey has been like. Before I gave my class 12 boards, my parents were like, they gave me an ultimatum and they were like, you either have to um, choose what you want to do, you have to figure out what you want to do in life or you'll have to sit for your NEET exams and that's something which I did not want to do because pursuing medicine is I don't think is something that I was cut out for like I could not study for hours and hours that's not me so I had to basically figure out what I wanted to do and uh, before I was preparing for my class 12 boards I used to watch this show called Forensic Files a lot I don't know I just kind of got into it suddenly and that's what I used to watch a lot and then I kind of figured out you know this is this looks interesting I can see myself doing this for the rest of my life and that is a very big realization that you have when you are like 16 but I did give it and that's something which really interested me and I really wanted to do it so I started looking um, for courses that are you know available in India and then I chanced upon Jain University which is in Bangalore and they offered this course they offer this forensic science course and it also had some sort of accreditation from um, this organization called the Chartered Society of Forensic Science in the UK. And overall the course looked great, so I thought, why not? So I decided to move to Bangalore back in 2019 for my bachelor's. I mean, when I decided that I wanted to do bioforensics, I started looking at opportunities inside the country, like what I can do once I graduate. Right. Uh, but uh, I kind of noticed that there was not a lot of opportunities in someone who wants to pursue bioforensics. Like people who uh, pursue forensics nowadays are very low in number. Okay, it's yeah. a, it's an emerging field in India. Many people still don't know about it. They don't know what it is. When you tell them about CID, they they can you know they just suddenly light up and they're like, oh, Doctor Salunke. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's also this misconception that what we do is what he does on TV and that's so far from the truth like that's not what we do at all so <laughs> I feel like the opportunities in India are very less so that's when I decided to look um, for colleges abroad and also um, one thing which I noticed is that um, some colleges in India they don't exactly put a lot of effort into teaching you the practicals right. and especially with COVID in the last three years um, like I was an undergrad student back then when COVID hit and we had to go back home so a lot of our learning was affected due to that so mm. <clears throat> I realized that um, to have a career in this field to have a career in this niche I have to move abroad. So I kind of knew in my second year that I had to move abroad if I really wanted to, you know, pursue this full time if I was really serious in this and I and I knew that I had to move abroad. So then um, I actually I did like research about a lot of other countries, but then there was um, always some sort of problem which I encountered you know be it in like getting jobs or getting citizenship later so yeah. um, that's how I zeroed in on the UK mm. uh, because obviously the colleges here are very prestigious I really wanted to go to a good college because or else what's 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 it all about if you don't if you go abroad if you're already spending so much money you might as well do it from a good university right everyone wants to do that yeah. So I started looking at um, co um, at colleges which offer courses in forensics, special, especially you know in um, bioforensics or um, forensic chemistry related subjects like that. And um, I did my research in the UK, and then I chanced upon Kings, and the program that they offered was um, it it looked really great to me. It was. Um, was very detailed it was very knowledgeable they put a lot of um, <clears throat> you know importance on the lab skills that you were about to gain and how it can help you uh, in your future and the thing with these lab skills are that they are very transferable 
so it's uh, it won't just be of use in forensic science it can be used in a lot of other fields like you know in pharmacology uh, toxicology so all these fields and even like if you want to go into uh, the food industry or you know pharmaceuticals and all that stuff so <clears throat> it's not just skills that you can use in forensics it can all it can also be skills that you use in other um scientific fields if you wanted to i applied to kings i applied to ucl and to other colleges university of derby and dundee and um and even strathclyde and um i did get offer from all the colleges and then uh, once that happened i decided um that kings is the one which i definitely want because the course was more focused in uh, dna forensics a uh, forensic biology and even um uh, forensic chemistry toxicology all that stuff and that's as i said is something that i'm really interested in so after i got the offers i decided to go ahead with kings So forensic science has a lot of subfields inside it like everything can be used in forensics to be honest that's what my experience is uh studying it after like you know 4 years so <clears throat> there's forensic physics there's forensic chemistry which has you know um all the toxicology stuff that you do like you know analyzing drugs and all that stuff and then there's forensic biology where you um examine all the biological substances that you get in a crime scene let's say like blood saliva semen and then comes dna forensics where you study dna and you know how it links mm-hmm. a person or an animal or any other org- organism to a crime scene let's say mm-hmm. and then you can get into uh, fingerprints So as you know people leave, leave fingerprints behind and how you can um and since they are unique how you can basically link a person to their fingerprints and not just a human being it can also be like other animals you can get into something called question document examination which is basically authorizing papers that are used in official and legal matters so if you want to uh basically see if a note is genuine or not or if a document is genuine or not question document examiners as are people you go to and then <clears throat> there are also a lot of other fields like cyber forensics and cyber security which is like a booming field right now and yeah so these are some of the fields and there are also stuff like wildlife forensics where you basically um work with uh, wildlife crimes let's say so <clears throat> you have to have like a passion for animals yeah. uh, to like work in this field um so that this has to be like my final dissertation project for my masters so i had to work with different types of meat samples for this so i had to work with different types of meat samples because um i was trying to devise a way to develop a rapid dna testing kit which can be used to authenticate meat samples um because nowadays apparently um in in lots of countries people have been selling meats which are not exactly meats from those certain animals right. so like they might tell you that you know you are eating chicken but in reality you might just be eating pork and that basically uh, while it's a lot of social and like cultural values of people and um illegal bush meat trade so bush meat is basically um meat that is derived from wild animals and the market for this is also booming right now so people people really like luxurious meats like mm-hmm. meats which you do not normally consume but you can get if you have like a buttload of money mm-hmm. so people are really interested in consuming bush meat nowadays so <clears throat> and they have been killing like endangered and protected animals for this and this has led to a loss in biodiversity you know it has also led to the spread of like a lot of zoonotic diseases so like covid was one of them right field officials people who are at the borders so they can go and they can check whether a particular sample of meat is actually meat or not or if if it if it has basically originated from an endangered animal or not so that they can basically um catch the people who are involved in this illegal trade and somehow try to stop it 
so if they do it rapidly if they have like a test which they can use on spot rapidly then they can catch those criminals on spot i do work with a lot of meat samples my supervisors they were like really really helpful get into a more specific way i am very much interested in wildlife forensics hence my dissertation was on meat so <clears throat> international uh, wildlife trafficking is something which is like it's like a big problem right now okay it's like a very big threat to the world as of right now and that's something which i really want to tackle when i move forward in my career mm-hmm. right now um i am working at this company called welcome sanger and um they are basically trying to sequence the whole genome of um animals um and other sort of species like animals plants microorganisms that are present in the uk and in the ireland so they can make a database out of it her story is a perfect example that no career stream is boring if you pour your heart and mind into it so as i said forensics is really interesting if you want to explore it uh, because not a lot of people know about it and most people whom i talk to when i tell them that i am in forensics they are like oh i really wanted to study that when i was young So but then I asked them so why didn't you and they were like we did not know whether it was being taught in this country or not uh we did not know if it would actually be a good career or not and while these are some things which I still cannot answer 100% there's like a lot to know in forensics there's a lot to discover and like <clears throat> so much to explore and i feel like if someone really wants to get into this field if someone really wants to know about forensics they should definitely join because it's because apart from being a very big field with a lot of options it's also very very um rewarding you can bring people to justice as long as you stay true to yourself So that was Ritoza's story. We hope that it serves as the perfect inspiration for you to make career choices your friends may not be making. And if you know someone who would love to feature in our video, drop their details in the comment section below and we will reach out to them. I'll see you next time but don't forget to subscribe to the channel.